What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Skelly Dirge team that can actually push you guys to high ranks on the rank ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to join the Jeans community. But I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are like, yo, Jeans, didn't you showcase Skeletors already with your own team? I did, but this team just makes Skeletors more viable, and I feel like it's a better team to push ranks. So I definitely want to showcase it to its fullest potential, considering my Skeletors was not leveled up all the way. It didn't have the unaware ability. It didn't have a different terror type. So I feel like this one right here is perfect for rank battles. With that out the way, we get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Garchomp. Garchomp is phenomenal in ranked battles, especially in this uh, game with the rough skin and the clear amulet. Then his moveset is super, super strong with Dragon Call, EQ, Swords, Dance, Protect. You really can't go wrong with that. Second Pokemon is going to be Gardevoir. And Gardevoir is really solid in this game, especially with its ability Telepathy. It cannot get hit by allied Pokemon. So say we put in Gardevoir alongside with Garchomp, I can freely EQ and not hit that Gardevoir at any time, which is really, really powerful. This Pokemon has the Choice Scarf as item, and it's got Dazzling Gleam, Mystic Fire, Psychic, and Moonblast for its four moves. Middle left is going to be Murkrow. Murkrow is just insanely strong in the meta as of right now. Really loving this Pokemon. Super cool to actually see it uh, running around the rank ladder and doing so well. It's got Prankster, alongside with that Evo Light, and then Shock and Foul Play. Feather Dance to drop a uh, physical attack, Snarl to drop special attack, and it's got Tailwind, obviously, for that speed control. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Golden Go, and I feel like Golden Go is just been top tier in this meta it's super strong great typing i feel like it's typing really just makes it stand out and makes it super strong with that steel and ghost but of course this ability is strong as well with the good is gold one it's got the life orb as item make it rain shadow ball nasty plot and protect for its four moves bottom left hand corner is going to be my favorite starter it is going to be skelly dirge over here with unaware as its ability and the citrus berry as its item so unaware is a great ability especially if we're going up against dodonzo teams this Pokemon is actually kind of made for Dodonzo because it has Grass Terror type. We can swap it to the Grass Terror type, use Terror Blast on that thing, and then with the Unaware ability, it will uh, ignore all the defense boosts. So it will just be a straight Grass Terror Blast, straight to Dodonzo, doing a good amount of damage to it. Final Pokemon is going to be Amoongus. You need a support Pokemon on the team, and Amoongus works perfectly here. We got Regenerator with the Oka Berry as item, then we got Clear Smog, Rage Powder, Spore, and Protect for its four moves. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Skeletor's team. First match coming at you guys, going up against an Armor Rouge team with Call Itzer, Dragalge, Meowskarada, Metacham, and then I forget that Pokemon's name. It's a little fishy Pokemon. You guys can see it. it's the second Pokemon now, but yeah, I definitely forget that Pokemon's name. I'm pretty sure it starts with an A and it kind of sounds like Armor Rouge, but. Not too sure, not too sure. But this team could definitely pop Trick Room. It could be a Trick Room team considering Dragalge is so slow. And I feel like Medicham would be that Trick Room setter or that little fish. So I feel like Murkrow could be a strong lead for us. We could potentially taunt and kind of get after the battle that way. I do like uh, having... Potentially Garchomp as a lead here too. Garchomp's not too bad. I could bring Skeletor in the back end too. I'm really trying to just think about this one. I do like Garchomp for the lead. I feel like Garchomp can get a lot of work done on a lot of these Pokemon. Or Gardevoir's not too bad. I could lead Gardevoir. That fairy typing? Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna bring Gardevoir in the back end. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Garchomp, Skelly Skelly, and then uh bring Gardevoir in the back end. I just like Gardevoir all around with that choice scarf. I'm gonna outspeed most and just get off a lot of damage. So I'm all about it. We're locking it in. We're locking it down. Let's like to grab ourselves a win here in bound number one. But seriously, yo. Huge shout out to everybody supporting me, all the likes, all the comments. I love commenting back to you guys. It's just been a lot of fun interacting with you guys and playing this game at the same time because I've been having a blast on the rank ladder for this, and then you guys interacting with me makes it 10 times better. Wait, they're going to end up leading Meowskarada, and I just saw that Pokemon's name. It, it does start with a... I kind of want to try to read it. Alomomola. Alomomola? Alomomomola. <laughs> Alomomomola. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. But they go Miascarada and Fishy Fish. Um, I think Tailwind's got to be your play, right? I could Terra. I don't think I should Terra, though. But I think we got to go here and potentially just should have Dragon Call. Right? Can that Pokemon pop Trick Room? I think it potentially can. I'm going to taunt it and see what it does. I got to taunt this thing. I don't think Tailwind's our play. I'm just going to taunt. I do not have taunt. So I guess Tailwind is our play. Screw it. We're going for Tailwind. And I'm just going to Dragon Call the Miascarada. Wide guard. I'm not going for no EQs. I'm fine with that. I'm all about it. So this thing is a wide guard Pokemon. 
I get off Tailwind here. Dragon Claw's gonna do a nice chunk of damage. And Meowth's gonna rot him. Probably going for a Fire Trick into my Garchomp. I would think so, right? We do a nice chunk of damage, half of that. And Meowth's Garada could pop Trick Room. That one hurts the soul. Oh, yeah, that one hurts the soul. That one hurts the soul. That Meowth's Garada could pop Trick Room. Hmm. That one hurts. I did not know that thing could pop Trick Room. I guess I'll snarl across the board. And just Dragon Call. I mean, do you have any fairy types you could swap into? No, that's pretty big. Unless that fish is... Do we think that fish is fairy type? Let's see. No, it's just straight up water. It's just straight up water. I'm just going to Dragon Call right into uh, Masquerade again. It's going to brine me. Brine. It's all about that brine. This thing's just going to pop a fire trick. Should be able to eat that up, no problem. Wow, still does a huge chunk of damage. We're going to be able to get off a nice lovely snarl. And then Dragon Call is going to finish off the Masquerade. Okay. I'm about it. I might just protect my guard shop next turn. Just slowly waste out the trick room turns. But Skelly is not too bad in trick room. I did not know Masquerada learns that. Did not know that. That's really cool, though. It's really cool. It makes Masquerada even more viable in doubles than it already has been. Because I already knew it was super strong. Its stats were great. Its move pool was great. Typing was solid. But having trick room is just awesome. It's just really good. But I'm going to feather dance because I'm oh, actually. I'm going to snarl. I'm not too sure if that thing's physical or special. I think it's half and half, but I'm just going to protect. I'm just going to constantly snarl now. Waste out these tricking turns. If someone goes down, we can bring out the Skelly, and then we can have the Choice Scarf Gardevoir right in the back end and try to uh, pull us off a victory. But I could have sworn the fish was going to be a tricking Pokemon. That's hilarious. They went for a wide guard, too, on me. They go for a wide guard, but Terrasalization is going to come out here probably from the Claw Hitzer, right? Claw on it. Water type? What type are you switching it to? Dragon? Woo! Going after my Garchomp with Dragon. Good thing we are protecting. Now, I really want to see what move it's going for. Is it going for a special or physical move? So we protect the Chomp. Let's see how this one's going to play here. Wide Guard's going to come out here. I'm not popping EQs. Stop, stop trying to predict me popping EQs. Oh, it protects from the Snarl. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> it protects from the Snarl. The Snarl's gonna get blocked. We're just wasting out turns at this point. Uh, do I go for double protect? That thing's 100% special attacking. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. What do I want to do? I mean, I can go for foul play. Do we think that thing is going to wide guard again? It's definitely an option. So I'm just gonna foul play. I could go for for another protect, which I kind of would like to. I mean, he's KOing me anyway, so we might as well go for this double protect. Oh, I could have swapped it to the Gardevoir. What am I doing? That should have been easy swaps into the Gardevoir. Should have been easy swaps. But I landed double protect. I'll, I'll swap into Gardevoir next turn, though. I'll 100% swap into Gardevoir next turn. I'll swap into Gardevoir next turn all day. We landed nice, lovely double protect. Go for another Dragon Pulse. Now, it goes to the Dark Pulse trying to predict me swapping into that. I can't swap into Gardevoir at this point, right? It just doesn't seem like the play. I'm foul playing and chipping up damage. Now, I'm going to go for a Snarl. Actually, ooh, I have speed. I have speed. Now, we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with oil. Um, hmm. I think this should be a free swap, right? Do I swap in the Skelly? Do I swap in the Skelly here? Pop a Dragon Call? Huh, I don't know. I'm going to swap in the Skelly. Let's swap into the Skelly. And then I could tear it easily into... I could tear it easily into uh, grass typing with the Skelly. And then get after that, that weird fishes, fish thingy. I'm just swapping into the Skelly. Another wide guard is fine. I'm not worried about that Pokemon. I know it's just going to be wide guarding. It's special attackers down already. We can now, oh, you want speed me? Wow, I could just hit that thing in trick room. That thing's faster than me. That's pretty wild. That is pretty wild. I know, trick room's still out. My tailwind just ended. Okay, I read that wrong. That's totally fine. It's totally fine, because I can now go into Gardevoir. I can twist to a Moonblast. I am going to Terror type into Grass. And then just go from there. I'm all about it. So we're going to Terror into Grass. We're going to send it into this fishy thing. And then I'm just going to choice into the Moonblast, right? Yeah, Moonblast is so safe. It's so safe. Considering it doesn't get uh, knocked down by Wide Guard. I'm all about choosing into that Moonblast. Not bad. Not bad. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'm liking this all day. 
Well, here we go, terror typing with the skelly baby. And now we're sitting in a good spot. We wasted our trick and turns perfectly. It was so perfect. Double protect. I wish I would have read the tailwind switch a little bit earlier because I was kind of confused there. But this thing, like I said, it's just wide garden, and I don't care about it. I'm popping Moonblast just for that. Just because of that. Moonblast flies here. Is this KO? It does. Get it on out of here. Claw Itzer, get on out my game. Get on out my game. So we take out the Claw Itzer. Really cool Pokemon. I really do like it. And then the Grass type Skelly coming in here with the Terror Blast. Should be able to do a huge chunk of damage. Maybe even KO. We'll see. We'll see. Looks like Hyper Beam. Just Grass. Bring it down to the red. I'm all chilling with this. I'm thinking a Torch Song can actually KO. Armor Rouge comes out here, which is kind of scary. Armor Rouge just come out here. And I do have... Well, who do I have? Just Murkrow in the back end. And I'm going to save my Skelly. I'm going to swap it to Murkrow here. And I could actually protect. I'm going to protect, protect. I'll swap it to Murkrow next turn. Actually, I might not even have to swap it to Murkrow. Actually, yeah, I would. I need to get some type of speed. Hmm. I'm just gonna get rid of this Pokemon. I'm just gonna protect the Skelly. Because we know the fire moves coming out from that Pokemon. This thing's just gonna keep wide guard. <laughs> I don't think it has anything better to do. I don't think it has anything better to do. Moonblast's gonna fly. We're just gonna get rid of it. Even though know, I didn't really have to, considering it's just gonna be wide guarded. But we know the fire moves coming in hot air. It might be using his signature move. Oh no, it pops a trick room. I guess that's fine. Nothing crazy. Uh, and I guess I'll go for Shadow Ball. If I can get off the Shadow Ball, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. He doesn't have Terra, which is good. Moonblast is going to fly. And let's see what he goes for. Armor Cannon. Yeah. Skelly, I don't I don't think you take it too kind of that. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, no. But Defense Shops, the Special Defense Shop too? It does. We like that. We like that a lot. We like that a lot that Special Defense is dropping. Wow. We like that a lot. Moonblast flying here. How much damage are you doing, Moonblast? Okay, that's good damage. That's good damage. I really like that damage. And we get the special attack drop. I'm all about it. Murkrow coming in the back end. Murkrow's a god sent from the heavens. Look at him. My boy, Murkrow. Ready to go. And he has foul play, which is super effective. So I'm all about dropping foul plays in that thing. I'm going to go for foul play. I'm going to go for Moonblast. And we should be fine here. Armor Cannon coming out here. Going after Guardable, right? Should be able to eat this. Yeah, that's easy soak for you. That's easy soak, and that's GG's. That is GG's. Foul play and Moonblast should be able to do enough damage. Maybe just foul play could do enough damage. Yeah, Murkrow does not play around. Match number one was phenomenal. Solid match from both sides of from us and our opponent. And we end up grabbing ourselves that win. Second match on its way. Going up against a top tier Bax Caliber team. And I'm pretty sure this is the team that I showcase on my channel. It's got the Murkrow, the Golden Go, Miascarada, uh, the Mousehold, and then Bax Caliber and Gargle now. Okay, how can I get after this? I feel like Skelly's gonna be solid here with the terror typing. It's just really, really good. Um, speed could be good for us as well. He has no way of popping trick room. I believe this team is no trick room. Uh, so Merkur might just have to be our lead just so we can uh counter with speed. I could go Gardevoir as a lead. I don't mind Gardevoir just popping the fairy moves. Gardevoir works wonders. Works wonders. I'm liking Gardevoir. I could actually go like a Moongus and Gardevoir. But I feel like we have to take speed. So I'm going to go the bird. I'm going to go Gardevoir. Uh, Skelly, do we need Skelly here? Skelly's not bad. Skelly is not bad. I do have the grass terror type, which I might have to save for that. Gargonac. And then last but not least, probably go Garchomp or Golden Go. And looking at his team, Garchomp is really good considering it outspeeds back to Caliber. Um, what else can it do? It has the ground type moves. But Golden Go is not bad. I do think Golden Go. I do like Golden Go a lot, but Garchomp's gotta be the gotta be the guy. Gotta be the person. Gotta be Garchomp. You just can't go wrong with Garchomp. Such a good Pokemon. Amazing stats. Typing solid. You just can't go wrong with it. Can't go wrong with it. So I'm gonna end up bringing that Pokemon in here. And we're hopping into our second battle here. Wonder who they're gonna lead. It's gotta be Merc or something, right? Merc Merc. Merc Merc. Matt Mouse holding back's caliber. So I can definitely see a sword sands popping off from this thing. I'm just going to Gleam. I am just going to Gleam. There's no need for me to set up a Tailwind either. So, actually, is there a point? No, there's no point. So, I'm just going to Foul Play. A foul Play in the back caliber. Yeah, I'm all about it. I'm just going to Gleam and Foul Play. This turn. There's no need to set up a Tailwind right now. 
If I change type into straight ice, if he has it, but I believe it's a straight dragon terror type. I believe it is. I'm just scared of that population bomb. I really am. Follow me comes out here. That's totally fine. Foul play's gonna slide over. Gleam's gonna slide there, and this Gleam should be able to do half damage to that uh, Baxalber, right? It does not. It kinda hurts. Kinda hurts, because we know he's setting up a Swords Dance. We know Swords Dance is flying. Citrus Berry coming out here as well. Uh. Ch -ch -ch -ch. What, Gleam again? We know he has the Ice Shard. We know Ice Shard is here. I think we have to set up the Tailwind. I think the Tailwind has to come out here. We just have to take speed for the rest of our team. We're choosing to the Gleam at this moment. And we'll see what he wants to do. I know it's an Ice Shard for first turn priority kind of thing. And he's not going to send the Ice Shard. He's probably just going to go after my Murkrow. Unless Tailwind comes out before Ice Shard. No, he does send the Ice Shard. And oh my lord. The damage. The damage. That's some big time damage. There's a lot of damage onto us. Um, he does have Ice Shard ready to go again. He might go after my Murkrow, but you're not out to speed my Guard of War unless you have another Pokemon with first turn priority. Which I don't think, looking at his team, I don't think you do. Murkrow, yeah, you don't. You can set up a Tailwind. That's fine. I gotta take out the Max Caliber. I'm not dealing with that. I'm gonna foul play into the Max Caliber. I'm just gonna Gleam. Wait into the everybody. And yeah. Oh no, he goes for Ice Shard there. That's fine. I'm really cool with that turn. His Gardevoir outspeeds. Right? Gardevoir? Yeah, Gardevoir outspeeds. Takes out the Max Caliber. Almost takes out the Murkrow. And if we have... We don't have any first turn priority. He's going to be able to set up a Tailwind. But I'm liking this. I'm liking this. He sets up a Tailwind. We KO the Murkrow. Basically turns into a 2v1. Oh, he didn't even set up a Tailwind. Never mind. Right, so it goes for foul play. Finish off the guard board. I'm fine with those turns all day. We got the Skelly Skelly in the back end. And then we have the one and only Chomsky. Skelly Skelly. Out and about. 206 HP. That's a solid HP stat. That's a solid HP stat. I might just Torch Song down this uh, Murkrow. Just for the fact is we get a special attack boost. But it really depends who he goes into because I kind of want a terror type. Oh, gold to go? Oh, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I am still going to terror my... Uh, I'm still going to terror my Skelly because I don't feel like dealing with the ghost type moves. So I'm just going to Torch Song into Murkrow, get that boost. And I don't want to EQ. I could Swords Dance here. I could definitely Swords Dance. But I feel like if we just start attacking this Pokemon, it might be a little bit better. But Swords Dance... Yeah, you know what? We're going to Swords Dance. Now knowing that the uh, that the Dragon Call is not very effective. I play all day. So I'm going to tell it, uh, Terror to Skelly just to straight grass. Just so I can dodge moves and not have super effectiveness onto me. And then I'm going to Torch Song the Murkrow. Finish that Pokemon off. Get that special attack boost. Pretty much go from there. I feel like this battle's a wrap. I feel like this battle's a wrap. He does waste a turn going with Tailwind. We still outspeed right now. Which is good. And I think Tailwind might end next turn. But still, 2v1 up against a Golden Go. I think we're fine with it. I think we are fine with it. Shadow Ball is going to fly. And this is exactly why I Terror Type, guys. Exactly why. And wow, that still did a ridiculous amount of damage. But we still have Citrus Berry, which might allow us to eat up another one. Maybe, maybe not. I think we just pop EQs. I feel like he just KOs me, right? I feel like we just we just start popping EQs. Even if we're gonna take out our Skelly. We gotta get after his golden go. I wonder what Terra type this thing has. I do wonder. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for Torch Song. What would do more damage? They do the same. They do the same. Um actually I why wouldn't I just protect and then EQ? It's gotta be my play all day. Protect EQ with the sword stance and see how this one plays out here. Going for another Shadow Ball on me. Oh, we outspeed. It do not matter. That should be GG's. That should be GG's. 2-0? 2-0? Oh? Oh? We won't strong? Get this thing out of here, right? See you later. Yep. They got. They definitely got to fix that HP bar glitch. It should slowly go down, not just start here and just end up nothing. But there it is, 2-0. Oh. Let's hop into our third and final battle. Look for a perfect record. Final battle coming at you guys, and I have a revenge match on our hands. We are going up against a Dodonzo team, and I am 0-2 up against Dodonzo's. So I really want to win this one. He also has the Flamigo, which I know its ability can swap in and then it uh, copies the stats of his ally Pokemon. So he probably wants to go in, in with the Donzo, bring in the Flamingo Pokemon, it's Flamigo, and then kind of go from there. But Mousehold could be a lead here too. How do I play this one? I feel like we need Amoongus and Skeletor. I'm going to double down on the Pokemon to counter up onto the Donzo. 
So do I lead both of them? I could definitely lead them both. I could definitely lead them both. Um, he's probably gonna final gambit. Final gambit might be his play. I don't like that. Maybe I'll go in the golden go here. Just so we can't final gambit. Not in my not in my Pokemon. Hmm. It's tough. It's tough because we know final gambit is a thing. Definitely wanna lead Skelly. Uh Ah, who do I go into? Uh, could go into you. I'm all about going into you. Maybe just outspeed and going from there. Bring you, and then final Pokemon. I'm leaning towards the Chomp. Chomp's just a dog. Or I could bring in my Golden Go. Because Golden Gold's not too bad here. What do I want to do? I'm going to go Golden Go. I'm going to go Golden Go. This is tough. Again, this is a revenge match for me. I'm 0-2, and, and I really want to beat a Dodonzo team. I really want to beat it. Haven't beaten it yet. They've been setting up on me and just absolutely steamroll me. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying. But I'm coming here today to beat this one. I'm beating this one. I'm telling you guys right now. We're not losing to another Dodonzo today. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe the next day. But not today. Asshole and see Titan come out here. And are you not even going to bring him? I do have my movies in the back end, which is going to work really well for us. Uh, I can straight up Torch Song, which I think is going to be the play. Just get that boost. And then... I could go into a Psychic. What would be better? Psychic or Moonblast? Moonblast does a bit more damage. And it looks a lot cooler. Moonblast looks 10 times cooler. So I am going to go into this. I'm going to double down to see Titan. Actually, no. Yo, Mass Hole can go for Population Bombs. But still, I'm doubling down to see. Actually, no, we're not. Because Torch Song can do a nice chunk of damage. So they're going to end up Terror Typing right off the rip. That's fine. Probably the Mass Hole going for Population Bombs. No, see, Titan's going to go into what type of ground, maybe? Water. I don't like that. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I mean, I could Terra Switch next turn if I want to. Into Grass, which could be good for us. Follow me. He's going to come out here. He's going to do some work on me. No bueno. No bueno. I don't like that. Moonblast flies. Doing a good chunk of damage. Does Torch Song go before that? I feel like he should be faster. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um. Hmm. I think at this point, we Terra type, right? I feel like you should be able to eat up a plus six water move. I think terror typing is going to be my play. But we're about to see if he has a Dodonto combo. We're about to see. We're about to see. Because there's no shot he's swapping, swapping out to see Titan after his belly drum. The belly drum see Titan is not too fast. He's got his follow me Pokemon out of the way. I'm thinking of terror. He has Flamigo. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Hold up. They're both plus six. So this is his combo. No. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's calm down here. We got to make something happen. So I'm thinking of terrestrializing you, changing the grass typing, hitting up on you. But we got to hope that we can eat up whatever water move he has to offer. And then on top of this, we outspeed and I am in a moon blast. So moon blast is pretty good considering this thing is fighting. And I have Choice Scarf. All right, this is scary. This is very scary. I don't like this. Not one bit. Not one bit. This is this is this is scary. Not one Belly Jump Pokemon. Two Pokemon plus six. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's a huge problem. But maybe Jeans can do this. Maybe I can pull off the biggest upset ever. Let's see if we got this. Moon Blast flying first. KO this thing. Oh, let's go, Water Bring it down to one. Bring it down to one. I'm all about it. Go for that Water Terror Blast. Go ahead. Just for an EQ. Oh, I'm fine with that change. I'm fine with that change. We soak all day. Gardevoir's dead. But Skelly Dirge says it's unaware too. It's doing no damage. It's doing no damage. I forgot about the unaware. Oh, yo, we're playing no games. He's lucky he didn't bring out the Dodonzo. He's lucky he did not bring out the Don. I would have slapped up on it. He's lucky. He's lucky. Skelly Dirge going off. I totally forgot unaware counters uh their attack stat too i thought it was just defensive but three pokemon down this this map or this match looks like a wrap right it looks like it's gg we throw out my boy golden go he throws out annihilate it's over with no problem ggs cancel the battle i have shadow ball ready to roll i'm plus one i have two shadow balls actually ready to roll two for you goes for a rage fist Golden go you might be dead here but it's not stacked right now yeah cool you actually soak that up really well. Because that move stacks every time it gets hit. One Shadow Ball comes out here. That should be enough, right? 
Yeah, Golden Go with the Life Orb. Says no problem. Yo, let's go. Taking down a team with two Pokemon that are plus six on attack boost. You guys gotta love it. This Skelly Dirge build alongside with the Grass Typing Terra might be the best in the game for Skelly. This Pokemon was absolutely amazing. We just got to showcase it in today's video. Using it in all three battles and absolutely ripping in the teams with it. We also had the Garchomp, the Gardevoir, Golden Go, Murkrow, and Amoogus who all got the season spotlight and all got some work done. And this team all around as a whole was a great team to push high ranks with. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.